Hi there, my name is Leah Schwarzentruber and I am the sea turtle specialist here at Edisto Beach State Park. I am permitted by South Carolina Department of Natural Resources in order to conduct our sea turtle activities as they are a federally and statewide protected species. Today I'm going to explain the process of a sea turtle nest relocation. Every morning at sunrise, we check the beach for new sea turtle nesting activity. On occasions, if a nest is laid too low, we carefully relocate it to a new and safer location. The reason to move a nest is if it is below the spring high tide line. If the nest is laid too low, it can receive washovers from the tide. And although a few washovers may be okay for the nest, too many and the eggs could potentially drown. To move the nest, we carefully pick up one egg at a time and place it in a clean bucket. Sea turtles average 120 eggs per nest, so it can take us some time uh, to do this process. We also cannot rotate the egg, as they may have started to develop already. Rotating could then stop the development, so we are extra careful when we move a nest to ensure its success. We also count the eggs as well during this process. So as you can see, it does take a while. So I am going to speed up this video for us. And sometimes a break to scratch bug bites is needed. And we're off again. So all the eggs are out of the chamber. So now we measure to see how deep the nest is. So we can recreate the same depth in the chamber that we dig. This chamber was 21 inches deep. Then we slowly put the eggs into our newly dug chamber. Again, one at a time without any rotation. The chamber looks a bit like a light bulb. It's wider at the base and then narrows at the top. There were only 80 eggs in this nest. One egg was taken for the DNA study we are a part of, so 79 eggs were buried below. And now they're all safe and sound in the new chamber. Now we cover back up with some moist sand on top. We also really pat the sand. So when the sea turtle nests, she puts her body weight on top of the nest when covering, which could be over 300 pounds. So now they're all tucked in and ready to develop into hatchlings. We put a plastic screen on top to prevent raccoons from digging into the nest. We also put up posts with a number sign, as well as a DNR sign to let everyone know that they are a protected species. And we finish it off by putting orange flagging tape around the nest. This nest was marked as nest 94 on our beach. 53 days later, it hatched. And it did very well too, with 73 hatched, six unhatched, and no hatchlings found in the nest, which means they were all strong enough to make it out on their own. For a success rate of 91.2%.